Oh my god, that intro. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. And welcome to some Need for Speed Underground. This is where it started. This is the very first car game that I had that I would like modify cars in and all that sort of stuff. And this is pretty much sort of where I fell in love with cars and it's this game. It's mad. It's it's mad. There's like I didn't play too much of the like this is on the PC. Look how fast everything loads on the PC compared to the PlayStation. Jesus Christ. I don't even know what save this is and when was the last time I played this game, but it's mad. Look how fast everything loads. This is so weird. Alright, well, I'm gonna go back. And uh I'm gonna go into underground. I have a GTI in this? Oh, this is insane. I don't remember playing this. I legit don't remember playing this. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to see what the customization is like. I don't know for what car though. Um, I'll probably mess around with... With this Lancer because this isn't even an Evo. This is just a... Uh, it's like a, a fifth generation Lancer, I think, if I remember correctly. It's just... It's it's mad looking. It's not even an Evo. That's the, that's the best part about this. <laughs> is this a joke game that I ended up downloading? What the fuck is this? Okay, now after that. I ended up getting myself into this. This is the better one. Need for Speed Underground 2. Look at the quality difference between this and that one. I mean, obviously this is a 1080p basically widescreen mod. So this should fill up like the whole screen and it should look really good, not stretched or anything. And this game is absolutely sick. I, I love this game so much. This is, this is where my childhood was made. I mean, the year before, um, obviously I had the, uh, that's sick. Look at this thing, look how stock it looks. 240, that's so badass. What's next that we have here? I remember this. I remember, I think I did this as a joke in one of my Let's Play episodes or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but I definitely did this for a video. That's disgusting. <laughs> you have a stock super, I was like, oh yeah, I know, let me modify this thing. I literally changed the wheels and that's it. Like, that is the only thing I've changed to this thing. I think that I changed the exhaust as well because that's as high as I could go. But the exhaust, it actually, they actually do look terrible as well because they don't fit. Again, another one. Oh my god, this thing. Look at it. Look how hot it looks. <laughs> that's bad. And then we have a 350, which actually doesn't look too bad. It is slightly modified. I'm gonna wing some wheels. Headlights and some neon and it actually does not look too bad. Actually, you know what? Let's drive this thing. Let's uh, wait. Whoops. Go back. Go back. Um, I'll go into quick race. I think it is. And if I go all the way to the end, it should be free run. And let's drive our um, 350 a little bit. Let's put it to manual. Yeah, this is mad. And the car sounds in this game. We're sick. Like seriously, they were actually very, very good. I love this game. This is... This is probably my favorite game of all time. I've sunk so many hours into this game over years. Even going back to it now, and I still love it. Even going back to this game... That's how people used to make games, right? They make games where... Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but... You love them for such a long period of time. This game, GTA San Andreas, um, Call of Duty 4, like those are games that I love still. Like they're old games. I'm guessing this because it was like my childhood and stuff like that. And I'm guessing people that um, that bought the most recent like Need for Speed 2015 and that was like their very first Need for Speed. They think like, you know, it's the best game and it, like they, they love it. That was a fantastic voice track as well. Um, but. I think they still think like it's one of the best games because it's their very first one, it's the first one that they played, but I mean... This is so good. This game is, is just so sick to play.
Okay, I thought I'd, I'd try to slide this thing a little bit, but I left it at fourth. Let's try to actually drift this thing. I don't know how that's gonna work since this game's physics aren't really the best. They're a lot better than than the modern Need for Speed. Anyway, I can tell you that now. They're a lot better. When you're driving slow cars, it doesn't feel like you're. I don't know. The, the speed feels a little bit more real, to be honest, in this game than it does in 2015. Actually, I don't. Yeah, it kind of does. If I change view, I, I don't even remember how to change view. To be, oh, there we go. Look, like you're driving too fast. You like get to understeer and stuff like that. It's. I feel. I feel like it's more real here. Like, look how I'm understeering here. I'm doing 80 instead of a, instead of 60. Which is what the road suggests. Like you, you start to understeer. You hear the wheels skid and stuff like that. It's just in Need for Speed 2015 is just so different. Where, like everything you do, it just turns into like automatic drifting or. It's so good. Such a good game. I miss this game so much. I've already done Let's Plays on this game before on the channel. And I, I really, really wish that there would be a successor to this game. Honestly, really wish there would be a successor to this game. I think they, it would do very, very well. But, like, it doesn't have to be modern days. That, that's what people don't understand. Right? That, that's what Need for Speed doesn't understand. You do realize that Call of Duty isn't all modern day just because we live in the modern day. Right? I know I'm comparing this to Call of Duty, but think about it. What if they just decide to go back to this, like, to the Underground series, and then they continued the Underground story, they continued it. I'm pretty sure someone said that the continuation to the Underground series went into Most Wanted. Okay, cool. But what if they go back to the early 2000s in the game, and they make another Need for Speed Underground? How sick would that be? How many people would buy it? How many people would enjoy playing the game? Give them the same customization that, they, like, these games have. Like, even if you don't have license to go ahead and uh, and put people's kits into the game like Rocket Bunny uh, or Liberty Walk or uh, fucking anything any sort of uh, any sort of aftermarket tuner if you don't have licenses to put to use your kits into the game just make up your own like they did with these games you really think that these games were um, like they were using like legit legit um, aftermarket like um, like body kits and stuff like that no of course not they literally pro they probably use them as inspiration and then they made their own kits and that's pretty much how all this works i mean they renamed every single kit in this game to whatever the hell they wanted to they definitely didn't use like um like something from like a manufacturer where it says you know like the the rocket bunny wing or or whatever i know i'm using rocket bunny a lot because the new need for speed literally uses like their kits on like every single car possible like it's it's mad but like you don't have to like get licenses and stuff like that which most likely nowadays you probably can because need for speed um, is a huge, huge game, and you'll be able to do it pretty easily. But I'm just saying, you don't have to. If that's the pro, if that's your problem, to getting a game like this out to people, then I mean, you don't have to use uh, licensed stuff to to make a game good. Well done. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, and this game is a bit, it's just a bit stupid, um, but. Yeah, why don't they just go back in time and they just make one? I, I don't understand that. Just go back and legit just make a Need for Speed for the early 2000s and then release it now. Could you imagine a game with open world like Need for Speed 2015 with a map that's, let's just say, a little bit bigger because this map actually does take a little bit longer to get from the bottom to the top of the map because the cars don't go fucking 300 miles an hour like at the very beginning of the game. Most likely when you're at the end of the game and you have cars that are... Uh, pretty crazy tune you'll be able to do that but go back and just put tuner cars into the game and just oh my god how sick would that be there's a performance shop here to my right I still remember the whole map literally up there right here there's a performance shop obviously I can't go in it because I'm in Oh, the driving physics are so good in this game as well. They're much better than a lot of games nowadays because everything feels assisted, and in this game, they just don't. 
I don't know who ended up doing the, the driving physics for this game, but hire that person back, please. Or if he's still around, make the physics like this. They're not it's not difficult to drive either. That's that's the that's the thing. It's it's not difficult to drive where you need to have assisted everything. But I mean you can turn it on if you want, but I'm pretty sure all my assists are off right now or else they would be popping up like ABS and and all that sort of stuff. Actually, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, traction control is definitely off, but either way, I love this game. I honestly think they, sh they should make an Underground 3, and uh, they should just, instead of just having to make a modern day one, like where, um, where it's in the modern day, where they actually tried with Need for Speed 2015, you know, they have like the modern cars, um, and, and all that sort of stuff, like 458s and supercars and stuff like that, which is pretty much what people use nowadays uh, to modify. Because everything's just gotten much more ridiculous, ridiculously expensive in the car scene. But back then, back with the tuner scene, is pretty much where a lot of people and all of my friends just fell in love with uh, with the Underground series. And I honestly think that they should make. And please, if you do decide to do that, I just want... I, I don't even want my name in the game. I just want it to be mentioned. <laughs> just anywhere in the game. Just pop my name, like, somewhere in the game. That'd be fucking savage. How sick would that be? <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I just, I honestly just want them to make another Underground game. Because I miss the series. And I honestly think that a lot of people, including a lot of my friends, would go back to play uh, an Underground game. If it was set back in the early 2000s with, uh, with cars like this, with tuner cars. I honestly think that it would happen. A lot of people would buy it. I legit think so. Anyway. That is my two cents in Need for Speed. I just, I tried to play Need for Speed Underground 1 because that's where pretty much my childhood started off with with car games. And um, it didn't work out too well. For some reason I got like a, a broken copy of the game. It wasn't like that before. I don't know what happened. I, it, I definitely had this game for a long, long time. I had it since uh, I, ha I had it since I had Windows 7 as well. So that probably could have caused the game to break when I upgraded to Windows 10. Oh, that understeer. Oh god, <laughs> but I definitely had the game from um, before I upgraded to Windows 10, I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but anything else, I haven't really changed on the computer. Um, but this game still works, which is perfectly, perfectly fine, so I decided to just go back into this game and try to, try to play this, but yeah, that's my two cents on Need for Speed Underground, and I definitely want it to happen. Um, I just, every now and then I just feel like coming back to play this game. And for people asking me to do a let's play of this game, I've already done one. I un I really want to do another one, but I can't because then I'll have three let's plays on the channel. <laughs> of Need for Speed Underground 2 and Need for Speed Most Wanted and Carbon and all that stuff. I already have let's plays done on those games. So if you guys want to watch them, I'll, um, I'll leave a link down to the let's play in the in the description. And it's all HD like this, like it's all like widescreen, uh, much better quality than the original. Um, so it should be kind of a good watch if you guys want to do that, but. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.